What did bro say? Yo. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If he's just not a stitch, definitely has the pass, though. Yeah, stitch yeah, has look the pass. Come on, bro. <laughs> look at it. Hey, yo. Four See? guys with a mic taking on the world. So I just can't f***ing speak. Like. Good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Alrighty. Let's, let's, let's get the show ass. on the road. Cat ass is great. Yeah, straight yeah, cat ass. Just straight anus. And the just spread. Just fucking. How, uh, how wide is he? He's that's gay son for crazy. real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is definitely not thought daughter. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's gay son, yeah. Wait, so how do you know like he wants to be a boy? How do oh. I know that Sunday wants to be a boy? That's actually a good question. I've never seen him use his penis. So, <laughs> like, how do you know he's not questioning? Sunday, um, what do you want to be? <laughs> That's what I thought too. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a hot take. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, we're back. <laughs> you know where we're at. This is the motherfucking Listen Buddy podcast. Sponsored by Listen Buddy Podcast, brought to you by Listen Buddy uh, Entertainment uh, LLC Establishment uh, Incorporated. Partnered with Listen Buddy Podcast. Yeah. Uh, Presented by Listen Buddy Studios. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) What were you going to (laughs) say? He's like, I don't even know what to say anymore. (laughs) If you watch the video, I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) he's like (laughs) glitching. Fucking stroke. (laughs) No, I was going to say, do you want to do you want to move the uh, the DMs? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for for. uh, yeah. Privacy reason. For privacy reason. <laughs> but yeah, we're back. Another episode. Just another classic shooting the shit episode. Um, hey. You know, we haven't seen you in a while. You know, we've been we've been reacting to music and reviewing movies and yapping a lot. But you know, you just want to just hang, hang, just hang out with us. Just spend some time with us. Do That's a all we want. Chill. You know, we got a lot to talk about. We got today. a special guest. Bunch of stuff dropped. Hey, yeah, you already seen him jumping from angle to angle. He gonna end up everywhere. It's Sunday today, so his name is Sunday. Sunday the cat from Dom's domain. Mm-hmm. Hey. That's true. So you Sunday, Sunday yourself? turns up, so you got to just let him do what he's doing. He's yeah. a little camera shy. He's definitely just gonna be a cat. Like he's just gonna do his own thing. He's gonna shoot. The, he's gonna shoot the show with us. Yeah, he low key has some stuff to say. He's got some some crazy takes. Like yeah. some controversial. Honestly, his his whole stance with the political system right now is a little interesting. It's just a little cancelable. Yeah. I feel like. So thank God that. I took away his English powers for today. <laughs> um, you, you hit the speak no evil. No yeah, talking, boy. Yeah. No talking. Yeah, I took off the, the cat for, thought for translator. Now he doesn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> he looked, he left. He's, oh, he oh, oh, just oh, like that. Oh, he's he hit the digital dash. I don't even know if the camera got <laughs> I guess that. He wow. didn't realize he couldn't talk. He thought he could. So he, he's not going to be on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're back. Um, and we're just going to be shooting the shit. We're going to be talking about Comic Con and D23, which do y'all know what D23 is? No, I never. It's heard like of it. Apple, or I say Apple, but it's like Disney's like Apple conference that they oh, do where like, they unveil yeah. everything. Yeah, uh, yeah it's like a, it's like Disney's like Comic Con. Like specific yeah. like Comic Con's like overarching, like it covers all the studios, all mm. this stuff, but it's like D23 specifically for Disney. It's okay. everything Disney. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Disney has Marvel and stuff. Disney right? has, yeah. So their big, their main big three, I'd say, is. Is Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars yep. right now. Uh, it, it, there's Disney animation and like Disney live action, but that's just like Disney. What's like, the significance with the 23? Is that um, like 23? Like I believe 23 th- companies. No, no, I think they were founded in 1923. Can we get a fact check on that? Actually? Let's get a fact check on that real quick. Or did they just start in 2001? So they're no, no, no. D23. It's, <laughs> it's always D23. Like it's been D23. There you go. Is, is that why? Yep. Pays began homage to the exciting journey that began in 1923 oh. when Walt Disney said the first racial slur oh my in God. Hollywood. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, because well, no, what was it? It wasn't um, before it was Mickey Mouse. It was um, on the little steamboat. What's his name? Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. That's what steamboat it was. Steamboat oh. Willie. I wonder, is Steamboat Willie like in the public domain? You know how like Winnie the Pooh just entered the public domain and they have like the, the Winnie the Pooh horror movies? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I wonder no, if Steamboat I don't, Willie. I don't think he is. I don't think That's he is. just Mickey and Minnie, I think, and Goofy, right? Mm-hmm. Them three. What? That, that they Damn. entered the domain. What, huh? No. What? <laughs> Hell, you call me? The you fuck? Mickey? <laughs> You call me a Willie? <laughs> but, I ain't uh, no Steamboat Willie, I'll tell you that. I am a Mickey, though. <laughs> but I ain't no Red, either. 
<laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> oh my god but yeah we're gonna be uh we're gonna be going through uh discussing films shout out discussing f- it's actually kind of crazy because i remember before like i remember seeing them way early on when they were just like announced like marvel like stuff and mm-hmm. like just little things here and there and it's kind of crazy they've like gotten to the point where it's like they're like for a lot of people. They're like the main source of you're getting like movie related news. Yep. And now they get invited out to like fucking D. Like they were at D23. I'm pretty sure. Yep. And like at Comic Con and all these things. And before it's like there's just some person like in their wherever room just like type like typing. This He's shit. got all the notifications set up for like every single <laughs> studio. Yeah. He's got literally. it like just notified. Yeah. No, it's like a whole. It's like they're like, like Iron it's Man like, Two confirmed. It's okay. like yeah, DJ yeah. Academics, but like you know how DJ Academics yeah. is with like music or like like uh, the Shade Room or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like that, but it's like with movies. Yep. And like the Hollywood. Hey, that could be us next year. Who knows? But yeah, uh, shout out to Discussing Film. We're using all your tweets here. I hope so that's okay. Thank you for the coverage. <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, we'll start off with D23, and at the end we'll do uh, we'll go into Comic Con. Even though that happened earlier, there's I feel like that's more like a like bombshell mic drop thing. So I feel like we want to kind of give that its own little section. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's start. We'll just kind of. You know, we'll recap. We'll just kind of go the things that we think are important. Some of this like doesn't matter. Like, let's do it. Let's uh, let's get a cheers on that, yep. guys. D twenty three cheers. D cheers. R P Walt Disney cheers. Real quick though, before we before we start, do y'all think do y'all the rumor of uh, a Walt Disney having his head like cryogenically frozen? Do you think that's true? Yes. No. No. I think no. So. No. Yes. I mean, if I anyone believe. was to do it. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's the quote. That's the quote. I mean, if anyone was to do it, just a running quote. sentence, <laughs> like comma and period, and quotation. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, Bob Iger, you know, he started the panel, hey, yo. and he starts off with Moana two. We get a new Moana two that's trailer. Lit. What do we? What dude, do we I think about Mo- Mo- Moana, dude? My mama. <laughs> I fuck with my mama. <laughs> I fuck with my mama, bro. Oh, hey, shout out the moms. Can we get a cheers for the moms? Cheers. Mom cheers. Mom cheers. <laughs> shout out the moms. Dom, come on. The dual hand. Look at that. But nah, Moana, great movie. First one. Fire. Uh, I'm trying to. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really remember much other than the the than the fact that the rock is like, what can I say except you're welcome. Wasn't it that like? <laughs> The the, the ocean and the island that, fought yeah, like yeah. Uh, yeah and the island was like the evil but it was and then she like does something and it turns good and it's yeah. like Mother Earth or whatever yeah. right it was a cool movie like it wasn't like I don't rem- I only saw it once I don't remember much yeah. yeah I I do know that like it like when it hit Disney Plus it got like a huge it got like a re- it was like like a resurgence like yeah. like the movie was like pretty like popular and like it was like like made a lot of money and like was successful when it came out but I, then I feel like it kind of like people forgot about yeah. it it got on Disney Plus and dude that movie that and Encanto blew Disney Plus the fuck up yeah, yeah. Encanto was good yeah and like literally they're like I know it's like I think these the Moana and Kanto and like Bluey are like the big three like of like Disney Plus like they're like the heavy hitters. Love that babysitting so, content right there. So right there's right that there. theory that she's like going to her afterlife in the first movie, right? So I wonder how they're gonna tie that in with the second movie. Mm. She has I'm, powers, correct? Yeah, she has powers. Sort of powers. Ah. Cool. So I will say though, it is kind of interesting because originally I was reading somewhere that they made this. This was supposed to be a straight to Disney Plus. Uh, movie. movie and they were like you know what nah like whether this it, was post covid right yeah yeah so whether whether that's like wait the first one yeah the first oh no no the first one was like 2016 oh, i think or something damn. it was like a while ago yeah it's almost been like a decade but like that's all i'm saying like i don't know if that's like good because they're like they saw the movie and they're like oh the qual- they're like, this deserves to be seen in a theater or it's like we're gonna get a disney plus level movie that we got to pay money for just for like just for they can like get some cash. Hang on, I'm so sorry. You're good, but yeah. So yeah, that that was like a whole thing. So it was originally supposed to be on Disney Plus, and like I, that's the only thing. Either they, the people at Disney, saw it and they're like, "This is so good, fuck putting this on Disney Plus. We need to put this in theaters." Mm-hmm. Or are we gonna get a Disney Plus level movie in theaters? Like it's like mm-hmm. a you know like remember like those straight to DVD like Disney. No, what movies? was that other one that looked very weird? That was like a straight to Disney Plus. Uh, Pinocchio? No, it was like the one that just came out. It the art style looked very bad. Pixar oh. movies. It was a Pixar movie. I think it was Pixar. Um, Luca. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's yapping. Oh, he's yapping over there. Maybe Ella, it wasn't. 
Elemental? He's to tell Pixar. You what he's it trying was to that think. one. Oh, well, give me, give us like a. It, there was like an evil man, and he had like this green power. Oh, wish, wish, wish. Yeah, wish. who made that? That was Disney Animation, dude. That so, looks so shit. Yeah. Who the I hell heard, is that? What? What's Disney Animation? So did so so. Just to like, yeah. So explain. So, so, so like, <laughs> just to explain. So there's Pixar and then there's Disney Animation. So Disney Animation is like Frozen, Big Hero Six. Yeah. Um. um uh, and then like Wish. Uh. And then um, Tangled. Uh, B- Bolt. Like that was Disney. Yeah. Bolt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Shout uh, out Bolt. Yeah. So like that's Bolt Disney Animation. So and also if we want to go Bolt. like that would have been crazy. That would have been Ace, late because Ace is late. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> and then yeah. Bolt. Yeah. Yeah. But like. Uh, so Disney animation is also like the OGs, like like the OG, like Snow White, like the 1930s, like Lion King, Aladdin, like all that, like uh, Mulan. That's Disney animation. So obviously they've you know progressed into like like the CG stuff and like the like 3D animation, and all that stuff. But like that was Disney animation. And then Pixar, I think wasn't Pixar originally? I believe I think it was like developed like through Apple. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. They like got it from Steve Jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Pixar was through Apple because it was like advancements in technology, computer mm-hmm. animation. So obviously Apple's, you know, advancements in technology and shit. Um, so they got Disney got Pixar from Apple in like the mid nineties or something. And Pixar is obviously everything from like Toy Story, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, Incredibles, Brave. Banger, the big banger, IPs. Banger, banger. Yeah, yeah. The big like heavy hitters. Oh, like, like when you cars. think of like animated me cars. Yeah, when you cars fuck, cars, fuck cars, fuck cars, fuck cars, fuck cars. Fuck cars. We're still fuck cars. That's why when he cars. said heavy hitters, I was like, I need to throw cars. No. Cars. cars is not a heavy hitter. <laughs> yes, fuck cars. It is, fuck bro. cars. Fuck Dude, cars. Fuck cars. Cars for no. <laughs> God, fuck no! Please, all right, let's keep going. But yeah, so this is this is a this is a Disney <laughs> animation movie. Just to clarify, this is not Pixar. This yeah, is this Disney is animation. animation. Yeah. Up next, we got Dwayne Johnson will star in Monster Jam, a movie <laughs> about monster truck drivers for Disney. <laughs> Hell so shit. yeah! So like, we that's gotta gonna use be so Dwayne shit. Johnson somehow. This is gonna be so shit. Bro, that's gonna be like Fast and Furious. Like 12. they're trying to make real steel for Monster Truck. Yeah, <laughs> probably, I bet that's like, probably what it is. Is it like animated? Or? No, 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 no. No, it's gonna be. I think real. I like like the, why mock-up. are they using the Black Adam picture of him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they're like the our logo's black. He's um <laughs> black. He's Black Adam. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's black. um he's Black Adam. Oh, maybe because like he's in Fast and Furious, and they were like, "Oh, he knows how to drive a car." But then I'm like, "Why not use a picture of him? Why not use a picture of him from Fast and Furious? Like, why are we doing a bl- like a picture current, of him from current. Black Adam? Because well, isn't Black Adam Disney? No, no, like, that guys, was Warner Brothers. Was uh, I think it's like you know him from <laughs> Black <laughs> Adam, <laughs> the last movie he was in. Yeah, whatever movie that was. Sure. But uh, yeah, is he gonna be singing? So that's two for two on the Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, he's yeah. in Moana too, and I guess he's in Monster Jam. So I guess good for him. He's getting that fucking bag. First look at Moana's sister. Is Yo. this like breaking news? Like, yeah. are we, am I supposed to care? Okay, now wait. Like, and then like, up next, we got James Cameron talking about the Avatar sequel. The kids, Yo. the kids had their fun. Now let the real man fucking talk. All right, let let's get into it. Avatar three has more emotional stakes than ever before. There will be new cultures, biomes, and settings in Pandora that Pandora has never seen before. Oh, yeah. It's not what you expect, but it's what you want. We're gonna about to, we're about to have a fucking civil war Dude, with the Navi. I'm so down. With, is it Navi? <laughs> the Navi, yeah, yeah. The Navi. But, but I'm so down, da- bro. Like, not I'm not gonna expect, cap. I I, I know. Want. Obviously, it's like they're mainstream. They're like huge movies. Where I love the Avatar movies. Like, I, I still have not seen the second one. That's I haven't dude, seen it's so good. It's, it's better yeah. than the first one in every way. Damn. Like not just I like really visually. Like the first wow, one. But like the only reason my only problem with the first one, it's literally Pocahontas. It like, is Pocahontas. So it's which it's like that's not bad because it's like yeah. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it's just like clearly like bar for bar. Avatar three is titled Avatar: Fire and Ash. <sighs> fire and Ash. Hey, 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 we got Ash. Right, we got Ash. Where's the yeah. fire? Right here. Oh, okay. That's okay. What I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> so yeah, here's some concept art. We've got the thing from Nope. Nope. I was gonna say that <laughs> yeah. looks like Jean Jacket. <laughs> yeah, we've nope. got the thing from Nope. <laughs> oh my god, um, that's crazy. You know, some of the just flying the on their flying. little, but also it looks thing. like some ships. Like oh, yeah. these are some ship-like things. There you go. We've, oh, we've got tribe? some fire tribe. It looks like these are some demon Navis. Dude. Like these look. That's these are the crazy. different cultures. Crazy. I'm assuming they're talking about. 
But yeah, I like. I wonder, what do y'all think? Like the environment? Oh, well, actually, um, it's not a spoiler, but we'll talk about. It. Like, I feel you like the, talk about it. the first one kind of had the. It's like because they're obviously. I feel like his like James Cameron's big thing is like he's like an environmentalist and stuff, and like oh, yeah. that's why he always goes and like voyages to see the Titanic, mm-hmm. and like you know he wants to keep like like that part of like like remember history and the environment and like clean up the oceans and shit and all that and like <laughs> the the first one was a very much about like. Like, like I guess, like, gentrification and, like, deforestation yeah. and stuff. And then the second one, which, not a spoiler, it's, like, a little part of the movie, but it's, like, about, like, whaling and, like, like, mm. like, 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 like killing whales and stuff and, like, that. Because the second one was, like, water. Yeah, water. But it, so I'm wondering what type of environmental theme this one will Controlled have. Controlled Maybe, like, pollution? Pollution, yeah, pollution, maybe? I feel like probably pollution. Or he's Volcanoes just... Volcanoes and shit. Or he's just ripping off the other avatar and he just did air... Earth, water, and fire. So... Yeah, Air coming up next. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I feel like they kind of did air in the first one, though, didn't they? Like, yeah, it was like, like air and flight. earth. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I'm excited, though. I was, yeah. I'm just, if you haven't seen the second one, go fucking. I mean, preferably. Dude, I'm going to go watch it. If now. you can watch it, like, I don't know. Is this a, is this a 3D TV? Uh no, this oh, is, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's well maybe a get a 3D TV the and then uh, has a 3D TV anymore. Like, remember that was like a craze for a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Everyone's like, dude, you don't. Actually, yeah, we used to have a TV too. I'm like, if it's not like a Nintendo 3DS where I gotta flip a switch, I'm not putting on no fucking goggles to yeah. watch a movie. Like I just wanted to be like flip a switch and sit right here, and then you can see it in. Three you're saying like even in the theater, like you don't want to. Just oh like, no, if it's in the theater, that's chill. But I was like, I'm I don't need a 3D TV. Oh okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But yeah, either way though, Avatar: Way of Water, go watch it. Avatar three gonna be lit as fuck next year. Let's yeah, December twenty twenty five in theaters. I'm excited. Um, so up next, uh, we got the first logo for Dream Productions, which is a series set between Inside Out and Inside Out two. Follows Dream Productions, the movie studio inside Riley's mind that makes up her dreams. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, I haven't seen Inside Out two yet. That's not a spoiler. But I assume like that I, yeah, thing, I assume I that her dreams are run by this Dream Productions. Mm. So yeah. it's just gonna be like a bunch of spin off shows. It's, it's probably gonna be like remember the little um the little uh, things they had um the little shorts like they had the four key yeah, yeah. like oh, remember yeah. from Toy Story like four four key it's like probably things. ten minute things yeah max yeah. or it's just like it's like babysitting content like just to keep the kids busy. Fic- Pi- oh, oh well. Fixar. I was going <laughs> to say Fixar, but Pixar's first long-form series, Win or Lose, will release on December 6th on Disney+. Plus. So this is a Pixar series. This is their first series they're doing. Their cool. first show. Oh, okay, so know. baseball. Looks like baseball-themed, that maybe? Kinda, I like yeah. this style. Cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Then the first logo for Toy Story 5, the guy that directed WALL-E, Andrew Statton, is okay. set to direct it. Okay. In theaters, Goated. summer 2026. Fire. Goated. Boom, just classic logo. Classic logo. You can't go wrong. They don't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here number. we go. Here we go. Let's the first look at Toy Story 5. The film follows uh, the toys going up against electronics. Yeah, I do. I, I will I say kids. I like that concept. Yeah, I yeah, think that's, that's a lit. great concept because that's so like you know, current. Like, like, so yeah, kids I'm guessing don't want to play with toys anymore. This is that's like facts. Bonnie and... But wait, why? What? That's how is Woody back? How is, Woody back? How is Bo- Woody back? Didn't he go off with Bo Peep? Yeah, at the they end like of fucking, four? they like eloped at the yeah, end of he four. Were, like literally, <laughs> Jesse oh, yeah. and Buzz were like, "Go, you're no, but look, yeah. she notice who's not there. Bo Peep, maybe he Bo caught Peep? her cheating yeah, with maybe. like, uh, yeah, Bo Peep's not here. He caught her cheating with like a fucking GI Joe or something, or like something. a <laughs> with like a fucking transformer. Maybe maybe the toys FaceTime Woody and Bo through Bonnie's like <laughs> iPad. <laughs> How do you work this thing? No, wait, no, this wait. they're gonna do something. That I, Woody is gone. They got multiverse. Woody. I was they got oh, multiverse Woody. that's crazy. I was just about to say the, the multiverse TV. has left Marvel like, and has entered Pixar. The TVA <laughs> went and got another Woody from another universe. I really hope that's and not. What it is? <laughs> that low key, dude. I wouldn't be surprised low though. Key, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. They're it's the same studio. Like it's the yeah. same. Pr- like so, if they if they borrow some concepts, like I mean, within the movie itself, there's like a gajillion Woodies because like. That, well, I think scroll up. I well, think yeah, that's we're about to get to it. So oh, yeah, an sick. army of fifty Buzz Lightyear toys who are stuck in malfunctioning play mode will be villains in Toy Story. Like, 5. That's actually lit. Didn't they kind of do that in? Uh, it was a two to- Toy Story two where they're yeah. in the. But it, was, it wasn't like that many. It was only a couple, right? Yeah. Well, even in, I feel like. The even the Buzz, first one. Well, even in Toy Story 3, when Buzz goes into. Uh, like, like reset mode or whatever? Yeah, when he goes into play mode yeah. and he's helping uh, the bear basically keep like, all his yeah, friends keep them, prisoners. Yeah. And yeah, I like know the it. Toy Story Dude, lore. Bro Come knows on. the lore. <laughs> god damn. Fucking Toy Story god. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I do think that, like, uh, that. 
I, I think that's gonna be cool. I think that'll be more for like the. I don't think he's gonna. Be like, I don't think they're gonna be the vil like the main villain. It seems like they're gonna be more like henchmen. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet like well the iPad is gonna be like the villain. AI. This is interesting right here. AI villain. This is oh, actually so using unreal. the iPad to control them. This is interesting. This guy says, this is so unoriginal. It was literally the original plot of Toy Story 3 back when Disney was bluffing in 2005 that if Pixar didn't make another deal with them, they would start making sequels without Pixar's involvement. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. I remember that scene, too, where they're in the store and there's like a gajillion toys stuck. Yeah. There. Yeah, I always remember the, the blooper where they're doing that shot and like one of them farts and yeah. then all of them are like, all right, who the oh, fuck yeah. was that? He's like, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> The, bl- yeah. they, the Toy Story bloopers that they do, they I always funny. thought Goated. those were so I good. All but yeah, of those. I do think, though, like the messaging, because obviously with Pixar, they're always like a message, you know, they're trying to push. I think the whole thing of like, you know, hang up and hang out, I feel yeah. like it's going to be probably like the ang- overarching, like, mm-hmm. it's like, that was, that's like a very simplified mm-hmm. version, but like, I think that's the message that they're going to go with. Hang I think up that's, and hang out. I think that's great, though, because it's like, bro, like, we literally have, like, shout out Colin, like, he's literally a teacher, and like, we know other teachers, and they've said that, like, technology has, like, affected, like, the develop like kids are not the same like developmentally mm-hmm. I guess because of technology yeah yeah their attention span yeah their attention they, it's brain rot skibbity toilet that. what yeah. the fuck like what why are, like the fact that skibbity toilet is a phrase yeah honestly you I just was don't get it that's fine <laughs> You're I not part of say, gang. <laughs> you can even see that in the picture right because in all the older movies whenever someone's even within you know the one the picture after that where the kids sitting in the bed. Because in all the other movies, when someone's, like, within the vicinity, all the toys, like, act like they're dead or, like, they're oh. not real. Yeah. This is, the kid and she's is, so like, locked in on the yeah, tablet that, that they're, they're, like, alive and she doesn't even them. notice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, I didn't even notice Boy. that. Technology, man. Come on. Hey, shout like out Bullseye. She's locked in with the blanket on her head. This yeah. concept art is, like, just giving me a fucking aneurysm. Like, why does Rex look like this? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, I mean, I think it's, like, hand-drawn. Yeah, I, I know. It's, like, it's yeah, the man. concept art. But. Dude, I like, but okay, what do we what do we think about Forky being, like, part of, the like, the gang now? I don't know. I didn't oh, give a wow. shit about Forky in Toy Story 4. Right? That's when he got introduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about Forky. He's not my original gang. Yeah, he's yeah. not like he's like definitely like a last minute addition. I need like, uh, the prospector to come back. Like I need that. him Who to be that? The, the guy in Toy Story Two where he was like, "We're gonna be in a museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck back in the <laughs> box." Did they kill him? Did he get killed? Well, he got <laughs> everybody. Uh, they were in the airport and they like put him on a different oh, bag, and so he yeah, went yeah. with like a Barbie girl That's and got like all bedazzled yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know my lore. Dude, yeah, for real. God damn. <laughs> bro, like, memorized the script for Toy Story. God damn. Dude, to Dom, Fuck that's not dude. Toy Story. That's, that's a story. Life. That's, that's just story. Life. That's, that's a story. story. <laughs> that's my life. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah throw, here's a, here's my uh, Halloween costume from when I was five, and I was Woody for three years in a Hell row. Hell yeah. Oh, three shit. years in a row is kind of yeah. lit and crazy. But uh, real quick, though, like, uh, go, with Toy Story for last thing, like, or Toy Story 5, like, I don't know. I think that they should have ended it with three, but it's like at this point, fuck it. Give me like ten of them. Like if we're gonna go, Toy Story four wasn't bad. Yeah, but it, even then, I'm like, okay, we're done. We're done. Yeah. So I'm like, now, we're done. They're so like, Toy now, Story. The fact that we're Dude, still not the, fucking the hold that three had on my heart, bro. Oh, I will not forget being in the theaters. I was like. There go my yeah. toys. They're dead. Yeah. I was like, I'm They're watching cooked. my toys die. In fucking incinerator. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, they are going to burn to death. Yeah. I was like, like, that, I is, was like that furnace scene. <laughs> no, that furnace scene is Loki. I was like, yeah. dude, that was like the OG Jeez. like portal. And they're like zooming game. in on everybody's <laughs> face and they're just like. <gasps> Man, Tell me that was that was like not the OG portal scene from Endgame. You know, it's like on your level, all the portals coming. <laughs> yeah. Literally, was like, I was like and then the crane comes through. They're like dude. the claw. Oh I was God. like, dude, the the fact the fact that the alien, the little alien, <laughs> the alien. baby yeah. saved them. Wow. That's yeah. so lit. But yeah, cool. Toy Story Five, cool. I guess. Fuck it. Whatever. We're here. And then yeah, we have the the trailer came out for Win or Lose for the series. So yeah, there's a little 45 second trailer. Do you right. want to watch it? Uh, just skim through it. Just So, uh, yeah, it looks like a coach. He's talking. He's like, you got to get your balls up. You yeah, literally. Hit Come on. You got to hit. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're getting copyright <laughs> oh, yeah, strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just... they have superpowers. Whoa. Uh, oh, she's on an yeah. island. Whoa, they have power. Whoa. Oh, okay, so they have power. Oh, that was a little side-scroller thing. Okay, so, okay, so th- this kind of looks like it was made by the team who did uh, Turning Red. Yeah. It, it that animation like, style. Yeah. 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 Oh, it looks yeah, like this was made by them. I liked Turning Red. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. What? 
No, no, I I haven't seen Turning Red. It's good. Oh, I, it's a good. Such watch. a good movie. I haven't it's seen good. Turn. You should. That's watch like it. the one Pixar movie I haven't seen. You should watch Bro. that one. It's good. I it's need to watch it. It's good. Um, but yeah, then Pixar's new original movie Hoppers follows a girl who switches brains with beavers to learn about the what? secrets of beavers. John Hamm will voice the mayor trying to destroy the beavers' home. 2026. Throw up the picture of the the, the John Hamm Mad Men me Mad Mad Men Mad Men meme. Try saying Mad, 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 mad Men meme mad. four times fast. Go. Mad Men meme. Mad Men meme. Mad ah, <laughs> I want mad my baby. Mad baby. But yeah, throw up the throw up the picture of uh, John Hamm where he's like smoking the cigar, like watching like Hoppers, just oh, like <laughs> yeah, he's in the theater. <laughs> yeah, I already see so many like. Wood related jokes coming. Oh out that my movie. god, dude! I, I don't know how I feel about that uh, that movie, but I guess we'll see. Oh uh, yeah, here's the teaser for Toy Story Five. It really wasn't much. It's, it's just the claw with the aliens yeah. coming soon, and it's just yeah. the toys like hey. hello. Now the question is: Is the whole voice cast returning? For I Toy think Story it 5? will be the whole. They have cast. to, right? There's no way we don't get Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, and then uh, Joan Cusack. Is that uh, is that Jesse? I think that's oh, Jesse. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is this the concept art for? Yeah, and then Hoppers. first look at Pixar's Hoppers. So yeah, this is the girl that transfers into a beaver. Cool. I, transfers I guess. her mind into a robot beaver to infiltrate their animal kingdom. Oh, so look, that's mm. her. So this might kind of be like. Uh, did you ever watch that movie? Um, where the it was like I forgot what studio. I think it was the studio that did. Um, uh, uh, Ice Age, and it was like there's like a secret agent, and he has to like he like gets tr- he like turns into a bird, or like a pigeon or something. It was like Will Smith and Tom Holland. Oh, I didn't watch it, but I I, I can vaguely yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And it's about. like he like turns into a pigeon, but he's like a he's like a super spy, and so he, Tom Holland is like this kid, and he has to like use yeah, Tom Holland that? to like. He said, "I gotta know." Tom Holland, Will Smith spy movie. Oh, uh, it was a movie? Yeah, yeah. It was like an animated movie. Mm-hmm. Spies in Disguise. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. They were like birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, th- I wonder, is this kind of like that? Mm-hmm. It's giving Maybe. that vibe. And then new look at Pixar's Elio. This has been teased for like a, a Years, while. yeah. Yeah, the film follows a boy who is mistakenly identified as the ambassador for Earth. Zoe Saldana has hey. joined the voice cast. Dude, Zoe Saldana is like in every big movie. She's in Avatar. She's in Avengers. She's in fucking everything. <laughs> Guardian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything. So yeah, uh, and then uh, I didn't. The, I didn't know this was a yeah, thing. This but yeah, this one was like the biggest shocker. To Incredibles me. three is in the works. Oh fuck! Brad yeah. Bird yeah. is look developing. Look at the first tweet. Look at the first tweet. Go look at the first tweet right there. Time, like, <laughs> I used to pray for time. Oh, that's the Pat Bev meme. Yeah, you go tell everybody. Wait, can you click that video? Does it have the audio? Everybody, yeah. we used to pray for times like this. Incredibles three out now, confirmed. <laughs> nah, that's lit though, bro. Dude, Incredibles two was so fucking good. Incredibles two was so fucking good. Oh, okay. Good. So Brad Bird has he done, did the Iron Giant. He's yeah. done all the Incredibles, Ratatouille, Mission and, Impossible. And then he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just go do like one of the best Mission Impossible movies yeah. too on the side." Just like Iron Giant two, Tomorrowland, Jurassic World. He did Jurassic World. Yeah, so Jeez. he's got he's got some films under he his got belt. Some bangers. Jeez. Yeah, he's got some films. Under Tomorrowland his belt. is not a, an amazing movie, the but the concept I liked what it like the concepts it had. I thought it was cool. Yeah, so he's got he's got a good little reputation. No, incredible. Yeah. But like my Incredibles only thing is, is what the people need. Official like logo for Incredibles three. Wow, Black dude. Ops three. <laughs> Black Ops Dude, three. no, I, I'm wondering. Like, I'm like, where are they gonna take it now? I, I wanna, I wanna see like a little bit of like a time jump. Oh, because it's like is back. No, no, this no, that's, that's just like just the poster the, from the first one, uh, yeah. but or two or whatever. But I'm saying like, uh, yeah, I need, I, I want, I want a time jump because the fir- the second one took place right after, right after the first the one. First. So it's yeah. like, well, I need a, I want to see them grown up a little bit. Like Dash, yeah, is, are we gonna get Jack Jack like as Dash's age? Yeah, or that's what I want. I think mm. we're ready for like a little bit of like yeah. a like Man. age. Helen's up a going bit. gray. Menopause. They got I, a, I don't know. I feel like they're not gonna go that far into it just because even in the second movie we were still discovering Jack Jack's like powers and stuff, True. you know. So I feel like they're gonna milk that a little bit more. Maybe and maybe they will just pick it right back up. Where from, did yeah. that one I'd end? Did that one end on like another like oh like you know to be I continued. don't think it did. Because the first one was like Mole Man and then the second one opens with Mole Man. Mm. It's the underminer? Sorry, Mole. Sorry, Mole Man is the. the sorry, no, Mole Man is the Fantastic Four equivalent of 
of the Underminer for the which the the oh, Incredibles are obviously modeled. Oh, that's right. So yeah, at the at the beginning of Incredibles oh, yeah. two, when they, they fought the long. Underminer, they were like, "Yo, you guys destroyed the, the whole fucking city. city. Chill out." Like it's like the Sokovia Accords, yeah. and they were like getting uh, basically just picked apart. Canceled. So yeah, it says the Parr family Negative. successfully adverts a disaster and gains positively publicity mm-hmm. um which results in supers around the world regaining their legal status yeah. oh yeah because yeah. they were trying to shut them down after so, yeah, maybe, got their green card so maybe yeah. soups are now going to be uh we're going to see a lot of a mo- lot more supers just like we did in incredibles 2 we saw yeah. like just a couple transition more. into the boys like yeah. Incredibles yeah. becomes the boys my only concern is which i guess we'll, we'll get into fantastic four a little bit but it's like they gotta they gotta find a way of like making them different enough because if you really think about it like the incredibles is like fantastic four like it's yeah. the same thing and so it's like i hope they're able especially we got this coming out at some point we have fantastic four coming out next year and even the, if you well, when we get to the look you'll see but it's like it looks like for at least some part of the fantastic four movie they're doing like a retro type of look too mm-hmm. so like i just hope they have a way that they can like make it feel different and we're not just getting the same thing yeah but yeah, Incredibles three, I'm hyped. Best fucking franchise in Pixar. Like that's my favorite Pixar franchise. Same. I Sorry, cars. fuck cars, fuck cars, and fuck cars. Incredibles is goaded. Uh, cars. Yeah, I, I can't with cars, disagree okay. with that st- first statement. <laughs> he said the first part. <laughs> that first part. Yeah, Incredibles definitely number one, but cars close second. That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> that's that's so insane. crazy. Really not that no. insane. Though. That's it's not. So I crazy. agree with him to be honest. <laughs> Do you understand honest, how many other Pixar movies have come out? Dude, yeah. I can watch how many Cars trilogies. <laughs> That's true. I don't think it, it shouldn't have needed a trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should have ended but at it's one. So good that it got a trilogy. Dude, two was. Bro. You're telling me you like bro, two? Even if, like, plot wise and <laughs> movie answering. wise, it wasn't the best. <laughs> Politician you know? has answered. It shaped childhood. <laughs> he bought it. People who grew it did not shape up. my yeah, childhood. Bro, well, there's so many kids out there that love cars, bro. <laughs> to this day, bro, bro. Cars. Tell me why cars Crocs are selling out in stores. If you weren't three years old That's and you didn't true. have like an obsession with a car, yeah. you weren't a child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but no, valid. like, that's valid. I'm just like, talking bro, car. It's which, either monster fucking... trucks, dinosaurs, or planes. What are you obsessed with as a child? Literally. Bionicles. And then the Bionicles. car. You, you make a car talk, it's over. Every yeah, kid's and he's like, I'm dinosaur. planes. Yeah. Um, so, right. yeah, that was, I think, the Pixar half. Then we got. Uh, K. Hu Kwan is that how you say his name? K. Uh, K. Hu, yeah, probably. I don't. Know. You got so, it, bro. And, uh, yeah, if you're, if, <laughs> you if that's wrong, it, let me know. I was like, oh, you're correct. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna be in Zootopia too. Why does that kind of look like the snake from Jungle Book? I was like, it kind of does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're just reskinning. That was Larry. This is Gary. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, then we got the logo for Frozen Three. Talk about an unnecessary fucking trilogy, man! Like, yeah. What are we doing, bro? <laughs> I, I haven't seen the second one, but I heard it was so sad. I've heard it; it's like so depressing. It's really sad. Yeah. The, the I think the, to me, honestly, the coolest thing about the Frozen movies is that is that is that little theory that it's connected to Tarzan. I do like that. I think theory. that's oh, yeah. the coolest thing about Frozen. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the movies. Like I don't care less. <laughs> Frozen 3 will now release in 2027. A fourth film has been teased. <laughs> Dude, what are we we're edging four what before we? three has even come out? What are we doing? Well, that's what like, that's like how that Netflix you... does it. They're like, uh, the season one for the show comes out in a week. And then like a day later, they're like, it's been renewed for two seasons, yeah. two more seasons. <laughs> and we're like, we haven't even seen the first. Dude, bro, what the, like, like, where else ne- are we taking this story? Yeah, like, what I don't the... even remember what the fuck happened in two. <laughs> oh, now yeah. that you've got the it. logo, we're going to confirm the four. Oh, wasn't <laughs> it? I think in two, which I maybe spoilers, but it's like, isn't Go there ahead. like her, her powers got like uncontrolled and she creates like a winter storm or something and they have to like stop mm. the winter storm? Dude, I thought that, that was the first one. I was no, like, that, is that not what they did in the first one? I don't know what the fuck they did in the second one. That's why I don't understand. What's four going to be? Frozen and four it's I even it colder this that one that picture from the second one right so what is this so this is the concept art for frozen three is she like a ice goddess now like is she just yeah like but we've got this little baddie like what is this uh, over here is that like genghis khan like, yeah it looks like a con <laughs> we got olaf anna and elsa she of course being the ice queen is on her frozen horse that can walk that's on the water. fire nation bro they they shout out, there. shout out. But oh, look, they're is going that Ice Heaven. Look, is that they're Valhalla? Going to, they're going to Valhalla. Who are these people? Two people there already posted. That might be her parents. The parents. Squad Yo, they're right. going to heaven. <gasps> they're dead? Frozen. <laughs> Frozen times Moana. Uh, no, but uh, I was going to say shout out Ushran for Someone going said, viral over this uh, uh, Frozen. Uh, <laughs> 
Dude. Uh, Olaf TikTok? Hell yeah. Well, how many views is that thing at now? Like six million? Six or million, I Dang, think. what? Yeah. Dude, yeah, it's literally Bro. like that scene where it's uh, just tell them, like it's it's that scene where I will throw it up, but I I don't know why. It was a Christmas Eve. I didn't even think that it was Christmas Eve. I literally I was watching Frozen and I like Frozen Two and I put like a clip of that on TikTok, went to sleep. I woke up the next day, bro two became, million like, views. Bro became the new J- Logan Paul. Like just I, for filming you watching a movie, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> no, just li- like, dude. hold on, right now. Put it on the mic too, so yeah. they, like right the audio now it's at six hear. million views. How and many likes? Nine hundred seventy-eight point six k. Dude, almost one million likes. Almost one. Oh million my likes. god, dude! Yeah, bro, what this the? One, <laughs> this one did numbers. Bro, this is a celebrity. From a TV show or movie that just cracks you up every single time. Anna, Elsa. Ben? Samantha? <laughs> I, I even know it's Samantha. What's a That's it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> you went fucking crazy. That's so over that wild shit. that that clip, like, literally, like, you didn't, yeah, did you, were you, were you able to make any money from that or no? No. And it was, it was, that no. was only my second clip I ever posted on that's TikTok. Crazy. And then everything that's after that's just been 200 views. What the fuck is going on, bro? You got shadow banned. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Band. So yeah, then uh, up next we have a stage musical adaptation of The Greatest Showman is in the works. So. I'm not surprised, honestly, because I feel I'm. Su- I, I thought it was based on a musical. Mm-hmm. On, if I'm being honest, so I'm surprised that like. Then we're getting into Star Wars. The first trailer for Star Wars Skeleton Crew has been released, premiering this December. So we're ready to go. Um, uh, I don't really know what's happening. I've never seen Star Wars, so. We got the captions, right? Do you ever want to do anything exciting? Because it's like, I don't want to play it because like also it's like audio people. It may be John harder. Favreau. He just does everything now. Um, but yeah, this looks like uh, the suburbs of Star Wars. <laughs> like these are the next generation. This, this seems very kiddie, mainly because it's all fucking little kids right now. So it's like, uh, this has got to be, this is probably like babysitting, like Star Wars content. Don't take it? that yeah. phrase out of context. Do not uh, just crop that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He said, it's just, you were like, it's just fucking little kids. And I was like, yeah, I was like oh, don't, God. don't. <laughs> Someone please, period. no one, period, no. no uh, period. Diego Luna is now talking about Andor season two. I've lived with Cassian Andor for almost 10 years now. I'm going to be honest. I didn't watch Andor. I didn't either. Is he? So this is his character from, from Rogue, Rogue One? one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like, spoiler alert. Or should we go there? Rogue One? Yeah. Rog one, Rog one, Rog one, Darth Vader. Rog one, Darth Vader. Um, but yeah, no, Rogue One is the best, like uh, new Star out Wars of, uh, since Disney Star Wars. Yeah, since, since Disney, Disney Star Wars, Rogue One is the best. Like, yeah. if you need a Star Wars to watch, watch that one. So I guess yeah, maybe not no goes true. down the spoiler route then, because I was about to spoil the fuck out of it. But let's not. Then. <laughs> nah, it's it is a perfect. Filler the last like the last ten minutes of that oh, movie yeah. are a fucking. It's a perfect goated. remaster, yeah. like a remake or remaster of an already Star Wars scene, but it's great. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's goaded. Um, yeah. So Andor season two will take place over four <laughs> years. Oh my <laughs> fucking fuck. god, guys! Four years, dude. I heard. I just know that. I mean, I heard that it was like really good. It was more like thought provoking. It was a little more like low key, a little slower, but it's like. I heard that like it like was kind of like people said that it was like the Joker of Star Wars. Like you know how Joker had a lot of like social commentary and stuff. Hell yeah, I liked this guy in Rogue One. Oh, he's back. Yeah, he says he's back for season two. Oh, he's back. I liked I liked him in Rogue One. I like. You him. know what? I didn't like him in Secret Invasion. God, I hate that show. Ooh. Forrest Whitaker will return as Saw Gerrera in Andor season two. Oh, I do yeah. like Forrest Whitaker. Dude, he actually uh, uh, actually no, I can't. Isn't he in Rogue One too? He was. He's. For, that's where we first saw him. Yeah. Was he in? Uh. Well, actually, I don't want to spoil it. If you're still. <laughs> um. On Andor. No. 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 Uh. It's about. Uh. What? He's in the Jedi. Survi- in the Jedi games. So oh. Jedi cool. Order. Cool. I think. Was he in the first? I one? think he was in the first one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Then it's not a spoiler, unless you haven't played that. I played the first one. Uh. This is big. First teaser for the Mandalorian and Grogu reveals the return of the Razor Crest. So I think these guys are getting is that a movie. The, is the Razor Crest the ship? The I think ship, it is the ship. 
I've ne- I have never seen The Mandalorian. So. I will say, I fell off. Season one of The Mandalorian was so lit because it was literally, one, the reveal of Baby Yoda. Like, they did such a good job of keeping that under wraps, and then you watch the first episode, and it's like, he has to protect this. He gets to find this, like, asset, and then he opens the thing, Baby Yoda. Everyone's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, mm. that was a crazy reveal because there was no spoilers. Yeah. It wasn't, like, leaks or rumor, Baby Yoda to be, like, no one knew. But it's not actually no, Baby Yoda. No, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, like, everybody just calls him Baby Yoda. But it's like, now it's turned into this thing where it's like, you have to watch the animated series. You have to watch Rebels, Clone Wars, read the books. And it's like, there's too much shit going on now that I don't know what the fuck's happening anymore with, start with any of these shows. Like... Uh, I'll maybe check the movie out, but I feel like I'm, you have to do so much homework to understand. Yeah, what's going all on. I'm gonna do and prep for this is I'm just gonna watch The Mandalorian. I'm just yeah. gonna try and watch that. Yeah, but yeah, so it looks like a movie is being made. Uh, May 2026, they're getting their movie. I hope it goes down the route more of like season one, where it's like he's it, like season one was literally it was like a western. Like he's like a lone bounty hunter and he's just like running and so gunning. I'm looking for the asset. Yeah. <sighs> Pedro Pascal, yeah. shout out! It's literally isn't that crazy? He's literally the Mandalorian. And in case you were wondering, Zeb will appear. In no the fucking way! Burger. Wait, can we get a fucking holy shit? Zeb's gonna be in it. No fucking way, like, dude! You out. guys aren't reacting. Zeb's gonna be in it. Guys, Zeb is gonna be in. Zeb, oh, no dude. way! What Who the, the fuck, fuck is Zeb? Fuck? No idea. That's what I'm saying. You have to Bro, like. That shit got 5.6 million views. Had the most views on the tweet. <laughs> they fuck with Zeb, bro. God damn. Everyone's like, damn. oh my what god. What do the comments say? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> what about <laughs> Gluck Shido? <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say we are not <laughs> watching. Oh my god, oh my it's, god Gluck. it's Gluck Shido. <laughs> now announce the rest of the Rebels cast. <laughs> he needs more screen time. Never watched Star Wars, <laughs> so I have no idea what this is. <laughs> hey, same, bro. Wait, is Who everybody is on fucking Twitter verified now? Oh, what the fuck? I guess he's from <laughs> the Clone Wars. Oh, no okay. freaking way. I'm, or no, uh, Rebels, sorry. Okay, cool. What the f- Scrunt will appear in <laughs> Mega 64 version. <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> that's fan service done right yeah that's just somebody said okay so zed cool, i guess whatever all right so now we're getting into marvel yeah Woo. anthony mackie and kevin feige <laughs> <laughs> oh start the marvel <laughs> studio section of d23 with a clip from captain america brave new world Feige <laughs> put this together on his iPad in the panel. Says says Mickey. <laughs> yeah, that's Mickey. <laughs> All right, uh, cool. I guess so. Yeah, I guess there was a new trailer for it. Which I mean, we already got the trailer. So it's probably not that much more. What is um, this? Yeah. So first D twenty three clip from Captain America: Brave New World is Harrison Ford's President Thunderbolt Ross giving a speech on adamantium oh, being shit. harvested from the Celestial. Damn. That's actually fucking crazy. Oh my god! So the uh, the Celestials are made out of adamantium, and that's how they're going to introduce the MCU's Wolverine. Oh. Holy fuck! Oh shit! First look at the Fantastic Four cast. Fuck on yeah! Set. Zoom in on that shit, dude. Look at that. I don't yeah. know. Why. Yeah. It's like I I get it. Why? It's like it's supposed to be retro. Like they're like like it's like a sixties. Like kind of like you know those like future like Jetsons mm-hmm. like a retro futuristic. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's Pedro like that's Pascal. like the look they're going for. But like. I, I hope that's not like the. I mean, it looks like that's the main costume, but I don't know. We it gotta looks fight like, villains, cousin. It looks like pajamas. Like, does that not look like PJs? Yeah, kind of does. Flame it looks mo. comfy, but yeah, dude, he just looks like he's like just got off set off the bear. Like, what? He doesn't even look <laughs> like he's in costume or anything. Fantastic Four cast on set. Cool. Oh, John yeah. Berthal says it's an honor to return as the Punisher in the MCU what is for that? Daredevil what is Born that? Again. What is that? What is it? Wait, 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 no, no, no. We're so bad. Daredevil Born Again season two <laughs> begins filming soon. <laughs> we haven't soon. even gotten season one. <laughs> That's Kamala Khan's father will appear in Daredevil Born Again. Dude, I heard that oh. guy was a pedo. Oh. Like in real life. Damn. So, Yikes. I don't know how they're going to navigate that. White <laughs> Tiger will appear in Dared. So, wait. This show has yet to come out, and they're talking about season two? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Fuck yeah. That's, wait, awesome. Fuck yeah. That's fucking fan huh? service. Are, are they making a different Daredevil? No, no, no. They're like, they took the Netflix one, and they uh-huh. like brought it into like like the MCU. Oh. So it's like officially part of the MCU now. Oh, nice. Okay. 
So a new trailer for Agatha All Along has been revealed uh, or released. Who cares? So this is um, WandaVision mm-hmm. tie-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care. I'm going to be honest. Like Agatha, it was cool that she's like this evil witch, but I'm like, who cares? Dude, where's Moon Knight at? Oh, it's coming. Dude. I'm excited. Kingpin for and Daredevil will seemingly team up in what? Daredevil Born Again to deal with a larger threat. Oh. Is it someone bigger, is like fatter than Kingpin? Yeah. Is it like <laughs> Kongpin? <laughs> yeah, like Kongpin. Kong. <laughs> Official logo for Percy Jackson season two. Dude, the I'm sea high. of monsters. I'm high. Have you watched? Did you watch I, I like, yeah, season one was solid. So it was it the Lightning Thief? It was very, yeah, it was very much way more like, uh, like, uh, like cohesive book. no no very much like just straight like book to like, oh, nice. show like adaptation the book is so yeah. good so yeah. i may have to watch that uh muse will be a villain in daredevil brother uh what why he look like that a man brother. in a mask good thing he can't see <laughs> brother i'd be scared looking at this first poster for percy jackson New storm season. rising camp half blood is fucking dead oh yeah we're back <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan on stage for Freaky Friday 2. Oh, my God. Are we, we needed back? this. Fan service Dude, has this never is, been. This, this is like the definition of like the Disney brain rot schlop. Like, just like, <laughs> come here, piggies. Come get your. The the trailer song, I can already picture it. It's going to open. It's like, I've been a nasty girl. Oh I've, been a, I've been a nasty girl. It's going to match my feet. Yeah. yeah like, like explosion or, or and no and then it'll be like whenever like Lindsay Lohan's like waking up from her room and it has like caution stay away it's going to be that one song from the uh from the Gambino album you know like the <laughs> the the rock one like oh, it's going to yeah. be like, that, like uh-huh. mom stay out like it's freaky friday <laughs> there we go. so yeah <laughs> freaky friday 2 freakier friday how much freaky how freaky is Lindsay Lohan Like get? why is she <laughs> still living with her mom <laughs> Bend that ass over let that coochie breathe. Oh, yeah. So Let here's that Lindsay the, breathe. Here's the <laughs> teaser for Lindsay season breathe. two, Percy Jackson. Okay, cool. Then oh. here, here's where I feel conflicted. First look at Stitch in what? the live action Lilo and Stitch remake in uh, theaters Lilo next and summer. Stitch, look, I'm, I'm, people listen, love at least Lilo they didn't go the at least they didn't go the Sonic route. Remember when they when they first did the live action? Oh, Sonic, yeah. They tried to make him like hyper realistic, yeah, and everyone, everyone was like, "What the fuck it, is this?" Yeah. At least it looks like straight out of like the like the animation. That's fine. Everybody nah, also Sonic. They made him like a different shape. Everybody also yeah. has been talking about with what Stitch is saying. <laughs> okay. So listen, what is he saying? No way. Play it away. What did Bro say? Yo. Okay. He's just not a Stitch. Definitely has the past though. Yeah, Stitch yeah, has the past. Come on, bro. <laughs> look at <laughs> broken. Who, who's gonna Who's gonna say anything to Stitch? He'll fucking bro. bite your fucking face off if you say, say anything to him. Like if they dude, don't have dude, bro in this, we, we riot. riot with the with the tan too. Hey yo. Oh okay. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Dude. All right. Did y'all Thanos. hear what he said? Who gave Stitch the pass <laughs> at <laughs> three <laughs> second mark? Three second. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I don't know whether, dude. I wonder if they did that on purpose just to get like some like fa- like react like some you know like uh, engagement on social media. Maybe, um, but yeah, Snow White is getting uh, live action. Who cares? And I they, gotta be honest. Didn't they already do that? No, they've done a bunch of Snow Whites, but it had that they, was they, for uh, it's never Maleficent. Been, it's, right. No, well, they did Maleficent, but then they also did like there was like the Snow White and the Huntsman. Remember well, was that one yeah. show story? Something. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Yeah, they've done mm-hmm. well because I think Snow White, I think is like in the public yeah, domain because yeah, it's true. like that came out so long ago, and it's mm-hmm. like you, anyone can do their version of it. But like, uh, this is like officially Disney doing it again, and that's actually the girl from the last Hunger Games movie. Yeah. The one who's the main girl, she's like a singer, so I guess they're like, we need a person who sings. Get this girl for fucking everything, I guess. Like, <laughs> oh, first logo oh, for Tron shit. Aries. Bro, we might be back. Aries? Tron, Dude, Ars? Tron, Ars? Ars? Aries, Aries, Aries. Like God of War. Oh, okay, goaded. <laughs> um, first look at Gal Gadot as the evil queen in Snow White. Oh damn, that's actually Ugh. pretty fire. She went. Eon's from, like, we may be back. Yeah, I don't, she's not a back. good. I gotta be honest, she's not a good actress. Dude, I feel like she's this not role a good actress. is a better role than than Wonder Woman. Yeah, her casting being cast as this then enough champagne to fill the Nile. Do y'all I get think that this reference? Works way better. We don't like her anymore. Anyone get that reference? No, no. I don't. Sorry, uh, you're on your own. Sorry. Oh, we're back. Tron Damn. Aries will feature the characters going into the real world. So this is like the opposite of Code Lyoko, where the kids had to go into the video game. This they is come the, out. This is, they're coming mm-hmm. out. The video game is coming out. Yeah. So 
The video hey, game is coming out of this the... is hype. Nine Inch Nails will be doing the music. Oh, that's, fuck yeah. That's going to be fire. But wasn't it uh, for the Tron Legacy? Wasn't it Daft Punk? Yeah, it was Daft that, Punk. That, damn, they, they're kind of two for two, low-key. Yeah. Because uh, Nine Inch... If y'all don't know, Nine Inch Nails, they did Challengers. They did uh, Soul. Pixar's Soul. They do a lot of David Fincher movies, yeah, too. Yeah, they do a lot of David Fincher movies. Um, but yeah, great. They've been great with soundtracks. Oh, yeah. Seven Dwarves. <laughs> Uh, can you say yeah. that? I think it's little people. Oh God, they're, they're, are they like? So they're they, animated. They're oh, CG. Dude, they took they, away the seven jobs. Why didn't they? Damn. <laughs> it could have all been AI for Peter Dinklage. Seven more jobs, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Jobs. That's actually wild. They they went CGI with the dwarfs. That's the Jeeps. most pointless movie ever made right here. CG so yeah, dwarf. the new trailer for Mufasa the Lion King has been released. So how Timon and Pumbaa are still here. No, is... no, no. It looks like he's telling the story. Oh. You see? Mm. Pumbaa. Is Seth Rogen still Pumbaa? I think so, yeah. No, I yeah. but I watched the trailer and so the the setup of it is so it's like Mufasa's like an orphan, like he gets left by his family or whatever, and he's on his own. And Scar's family is like a royal family, and Scar convinces his fa his family to like take in Mufasa. Mm. So now I'm like, that puts a whole different context. I'm yeah. like, so that's why Scar was fucking mad. Yeah, I'm like, shit. Maybe I fucking understand why Scar was pissed when they made uh, Mufasa. He the said, fucking you, line. "You took my royalty. Like, I'm gonna take your lady." Ooh, Nala. Is that no, no, that's Nala's, Nala's, uh, Nala's Simba's. Simba's girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take yeah. your life. Alan is uh, Bro just is Nala guard backwards. for life. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah, skeleton crew. This is all just like recapping. Yeah, stuff. recapping because we still. Oh yeah, new poster for. The, oh, that's not. That's Disney, not even. Though. Yeah. Come on. Um, keep what it. Is that? That's League of Legends. Yeah, yeah. Arcane. <laughs> Borderlands <laughs> is estimated to open below ten million dollars domestically. That movie was dog poop, gooch sweat, dumpster juice. Dot <sighs> Okay, so here we go for Marvel. Um, animation. Marvel we'll animation. begin. Oh, yeah, Marvel Animation. So, Agatha all along. No the cares. Fortnite <laughs> Marvel season has officially confirmed. Lock A yes. whole Holy season of just Marvel related stuff? Fuck. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's 30 kinda minutes tough. until. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I'd play Just under five. <laughs> discussing <laughs> films. Stop edging me right now. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's starting great. We're about to not keep going. Um. Okay, I just want to get okay. Oh, Oscar Isaac's Moon Knight will appear in What If season three. We're back. Oh. Give him the actual season. Ironheart well. and Shang Chi will appear in What If. We're back. Season three. Hey yo. The X Men will wear will wear oh. Grant Morrison suit in X Men ninety seven. That's a pretty that's iconic actually suit. It's hype. like the it's the one on the left. Yeah, I know, but that's kind of hype. Yeah, those are clean. That's yeah. that's kind of fire. Yeah. It's like jackets. Like it's kind of like more. It's kind of like a mix of like the traditional and then what they did with like the the first like the original movie like the live action one where it was like leather. It's mm -hmm. like a mix of that. So two. what is this show? What so is it's <sighs> literally like a you haven't seen what if? No. no, dude, it's great show. Yeah. Do you know what that show like? Uh, no, go ahead. I'll tell it later. Okay. Do you want to just say what it is? Yeah, it's literally just like the title explains. It's like things that we've seen in movies and shows before, but what if this one thing changed, like how like things would play out? Yeah, it's like, like a butterfly effect type so of thing. What, uh, they like, only do like Marvel movies and stuff? Yeah, it's yeah. all related. It's like Marvel. It's like yeah. what if like Marvel. But it's like, yeah. um, like the, the, one of the first, I think one of the ones they did originally was like, what if the Ravagers, instead of picking up uh, Peter Quill, they picked up T'Challa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. There was another one where, uh, this is kind of a spoiler, but instead of Cap, what if Peggy became Captain America? And that's where you get Captain Carter and that, like, yeah. from mm. Multiverse of Madness. It was, it was, it was like an introduced in what if. And, I see. And each yeah. episode is like unrelated, but they're all great. Like, they're all great concepts that, like, we probably thought of too, but it's yeah. nice to see it, like, that's so, yeah, so it's yeah, always it could, it could be like one little change and you're like that like oh what if it was Peggy instead of Cap but it's like one of them the, like one of them was like a Marvel zombies related one like what if mm. and Dude, then the like, Tatala yeah. one like, went crazy is it animated yeah, yeah it's animated nice. yeah all it's, all into cool. Spider Verse type of animation but, yeah but, but. I thought I think it's pretty cool some people are like oh what the fuck is this? I enjoy it because it's like it. each episode's like twenty minutes it's not taking that much time out of your day it's just you a quick put me one. on so yeah I'm I sorry did? to yeah. break y'all's hearts but season three will be the final season no you know why because they're going live action after probably no. what <laughs> if we went live action. <laughs> <laughs> What if it wasn't the last What season? if season three will include an episode featuring an Avengers team of Captain America, Moon Knight, Monica Rambo, and more facing off against Gamma Monsters? What the fuck is a are they, is those the Transformers? Oh my god. 
They're going to be like, what oh, if yeah. what if never ended as a show? <laughs> Season four. What if we kissed? <laughs> Eyes of Wakanda is an animated series that delves into Wakandan history. Oh, that's fucking lit. Todd Harris developed the series Ooh. who served as a storyboard artist behind many modern action movies. All right, ready, ready? Ibombe! 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 I the Black Panther movie. <gasps> that's got to be a little. <laughs> that's a little. Is that? Is that? I just. I don't know. I that's an awfully it. hot coffee. It's <laughs> not my type of movie. Whoa. <laughs> no, I'm just. Are those uh, Dom's words or? I'm just uneducated. I have not. He's I not. He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't woken up yet. In Iron Fist fire, though, will man. appear in Eyes of Wakanda. Dude, Dude yeah. y'all, did y'all ever watch the Iron Fist show on Netflix? No. No. I didn't. I thought it was like it was like kind of shit, but I, in the moment I was like, "This is kind of like it's like one of those like so bad it's good kind of things." Mm. <laughs> Ryan Coogler, great man, says Eyes of Wakanda does a beautiful job of representing the history of those who had to keep Wakanda a secret over centuries. Oh, that's mm, lit. That's uh, hopefully I feel like they're gonna find cool ways to pay tribute to like Chadwick too. Probably yeah, the Coogler. Shout out the goat. Go. Then uh, here is another big news: new look at your friendly neighborhood Ooh. Spider-Man, a new animated series. Dude, Bro, the Spider-Man. Animated Disney. series Bro, from like the nineties, dude. Bro, that was goaded. The Even hey, the remake when they redid it with like whatever. Is that LeBron anger. James to the right? Yeah, that's <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Nah, Yo. see this animation style of Spider-Man is like what? Oh, whoa, it's Venom meant, looks meant crazy. Yeah. Like this is how Spider-Man is supposed. Venom to Venom looks like a Daredevil? comic book style, bro. Yes. Oh, I see. What's his face? Is oh, they got. They're doing. They're doing Norman Osborn with the waves. That's hey. lit, bro. Yeah. That's really. Why? Iron Man, oh hell yeah! Anti Venom suit, oh dude, this is gonna be lit. Doctor Strange, yeah, no, I'm, dude, yeah, I will say for me, my top three. Turbin guy, shout out Turbin. Dude, guys. I think for me, the top three animated like shows growing up, it was the Batman animated series, yep. it was the Spider Man animated series, and then it was Static Shock. Those are all banger for banger. I would say for just, me. Justice League was up there. For Justice me. League was up there. I, I really like but Static Shock. Speaking of uh, what you just said, the Batman animated series, they dropped Joy that Cape new. Crusader. Yeah, on oh, yeah, Amazon. I, saw I watched it. It's first, solid. First couple episodes are fucking solid. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Coleman Domingo will voice Norman Osborn in your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So that's why they're going with the way Norman Osborn with the waves. That makes sense. Mm. Hudson Thames voices Peter Parker in your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He voiced the character in What If Season 3. Oh, that's a cool picture. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm excited. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be cool. Peter and Norman's relationship in your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is like a what-if scenar- scenario of Peter and Tony from the MCU. The main oh. different of Peter... The main different of Peter learning from <laughs> Norman. Come on, Nick discussing Nick film. More questionable methods. Different. So it's pretty the much like a, it's like a what if like <laughs> Norman recruited Peter instead of Tony. That's interesting. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. Gets his spider bite when Doctor Strange and Venom come through a portal fighting along with a spider. Oh, that's in- I, I like that. That's interesting. Marvel Zombies will be a four Ooh. episode TV MA event series. TV animated TV MA is kind of crazy. Like how go- I mean, we saw how gory they got with Deadpool. It's like how gory are we going to get with zombies? Are we going to see them like get biting some- like people's like eyes out and that shit? That sounds lit. First First teaser reveals the Mandarin giving Shang Chi the Ten Rings to save his arm from a zombie bite. Also includes Shang Chi, Katie, and Jimmy Wu fighting a scroll biker gang in a Mad Max style sequence. Oh, we're back! Damn. Here we go. Karan Sony reveals Beyond the Spider Verse is deep into production. He will start recording lines for the film in a few months. Fuck. Okay, but here's Thank the thing. God, so bro. they really had us thinking that that, that was going to be back to back. That film was ready to go six months. Cap and ass like, motherfuckers. They really yeah. thought they a year had later. Us. They really had us. That they were like, okay, I knew. I across knew. the Spider Verse. Six months later, we got Beyond the Spider Verse. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to happen. Bro. That was That's- insane. That probably started the writer strike. No cap. <laughs> like, no cap. Okay. Like, y'all want it still? What? This is probably one of the variant suits, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's a little over. zesty in yeah, this. Yeah, I know. It's like Fantastic Four esque. <laughs> Spread Eagle. The the Gray Sisters have been cast for Percy Jackson season two. Uh, cool. Margaret Cho as Wasp, Sandra Bernard as Anger, and uh, Kristen Shaw <sighs> as Tempest. I don't remember the Gray Sister. Is that like the like the Oracles type? Like they, think, they they weave that line or whatever, right? The thread, right, or whatever. I think so. Isn't that like in the Greek like, shit? It's like uh, there's like a thread or something. The sirens. The sirens or something. Practical right. alien costumes for Star Wars skeleton crew. Great. That's cool. I mean, it's cool that they're doing practical stuff again instead of like all CG. Uh, so yeah, these are like the parody like movies. Like the dreams in her. Permanent bedhead, zombie llamas. 
cool. Yeah, these are just like the fake movies. About a boy. A Buddha boy. A boot a boy. Oh my god, because they're Canadian. Boot. First look at one P oh the This has this has nothing to do. Yeah. Sorry. I just I'm just reading. I'm <laughs> just reading, guys. <laughs> just a boy. Uh, this is all theme parks. Yeah, so I think so we're good I with think that's I, do y'all want to talk about theme parks? That's whatever. I don't really care. No, Are I we getting a theme park in Dallas of some sort? That's, universal? That's universal, yeah. Dude. Oh, God. Don't let Eon see that. Don't let Eon oh, see that. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> yeah. First look at cars acraptions. Accra- <laughs> yeah, fucking. That's, yo, you did it right. Acraptions. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck cars, dude. Yeah, that could be me. <laughs> that, 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 what, this what, could be me. This could be us. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's really that. Wait, a Grogu back bling is being wait, added to Fortnite on August 12th. Holy wait, 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 wait. Countdown, Fortnite, count. Pixar, uh, is collab. Fortnite. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. The whole season is a collab with Marvel. Captain Marvel? America, Jonesy, and Wolverine Peely are being added to Fortnite. Oh. Whoa. We Doom? didn't talk about wait. that one. Well, I guess that seg- that's a perfect segue, actually. Yeah. I was about to say, bro. All right, Sorry, so segue we- it. All right, so since we got, yeah, Fortnite, you know, collabing with uh, Marvel, and the cover has Doom, let's talk about the fucking elephant in the room. Robert Downey Jr. is fucking back as Dr. Motherfucking Doom. Can I knew we get he a was fucking coming back. Yeah. Like, holy fucking shit. Like, that, it broke the internet. Like, if you if you find Bro, that original ass. video, it, Bro. like, has, like, like, 30 trillion views like dude so many that was such a good way to unveil that and you know what everybody walking out i feel like that's such an og way to reveal dude shit. you they know what well, you know what that reminded me of that scene from uh iron man one at the end where he literally was iron like, man. B- literally in real life robert Downey uh, Jr. Was fucking iron man. bro his aura in that in that from that the reveal yeah play the reveal i think we yeah. can play the reveal it's not like a trailer or anything so i don't know oh, yeah because i never saw it yeah, okay Ladies and gentlemen, and nobody knew this, right? As proof of the unimaginable possibilities Turn it in down the Marvel a little multi bit. universe, we give you okay. the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. Somebody says it. I am Iron Man. <laughs> So cool. I like how he inst- aura. he instantly puts on shades. Like the aura, it- dude. His his aura fucking was at an all time high right yeah. now. And then here you go. Yep. He's like, yeah, I ain't losing the shades. Yeah. I ain't losing the tone. He, he's shades, like, you bro. already know what it is. That's so he, lit, bro. He said, you know the vibes. So <laughs> yeah, let, we'll, we'll talk. Well, so I guess we let's we can get to that. But so real quick, so yeah, they confirmed the Russos who directed the arguably some of the best fucking Marvel movies: mm-hmm. Civil War or no, sorry, Winter Soldier, Civil War, Infinity War, and Game. Like yeah. some like for some people, that's probably their top four. Like yeah, some so, people are in this room. He's some people. I'm Places. not. No, that's not my top four. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not my top four. But I mean, uh, like uh, Infinity War is up there, Endgame's up there, Civil War's up there, but no. that's three. So yeah, but no, it, w- up there. it was fire. I think um, I think it's really cool, but I also understand why a lot of people there not a lot of people, but there is like the other side to it where people are like, they were like, man, Marvel getting desperate. Yeah, they're like they really or Disney really messed it up so much that they had to bring back the goats to yeah. try and like fix everything which yeah. i think and my my take on that is it's kind of like you gotta think about it like this like we keep up with all this stuff like the news and stuff but for the average viewer yeah. to them robert downey jr was the mcu yeah so when you get rid of him it's like the equivalent of like getting rid of like uh like you're getting it's like when michael scott when steve Carell left the office yeah like you still have compelling characters like you still have pam jim dwight all those people which is like you still have thor captain america yeah. like yeah. you know like uh or doctor strange but it's like you don't have like the like the face of the mcu yeah, which yeah. Was, the average person doesn't really understand that the whole marvel lore and all that so yeah like, so to them they're like, like where's where's the guy that we want we come to watch his movies they go for. to deadpool we come, green they don't really understand come everything for robert. behind that like okay they were bought out by disney or yeah. whatever and all that so i feel like marvel just now they're like okay we tried all the extra dumb shit, all the bullshit. We gave you all your little movies and stuff. A piece to everybody. Now we gotta just get, bring it back to Avenger style. Yeah. Bring back RDJ. Fuck it. And like I mean, this. like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Do I think that they had to kind of scramble because of the whole Jonathan Majors thing? Yeah, probably. I definitely think that that played a big probably. role. Like this maybe was something they were gonna do down the line, but I think that they had to fast track it because Jonathan Majors got canceled and yeah, because no one... you told me it was supposed to be 
this was supposed to be the Kang Dynasty, yeah. and then it was going to go Secret Wars, and then which at I think in maybe Secret Wars or end of Secret Wars it was going to like introduce Doom or something yeah. like that. But now they, they have, have to just to... skip right over Kang and just be like, "Fuck you, Jonathan Majors!" Like, which I get it, bro. It's like he got into some shit, whatever. Which that's a whole other thing. But like, I guess they didn't want to be attached to that, so yeah. they were like, "We're just gonna like just move on past it," and like. Yeah, I feel like they were just kind of like we like just to like not even put any attention on that. Boom! How do we get all the attention on like yeah. the next like the future of the MCU? Boom! Robert Downey Jr. Doctor Doom. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I was gonna say something, but like yeah, so they're doing Doomsday, which is Avengers five, and then they're gonna do Secret Wars, which is like if you thought Endgame was crazy, Secret Wars is like Endgame on crack. I'm like hyped. Secret Wars, at least in the comics, it's like all the universes are colliding. And, like, pretty much, like, in the comp... So, they had two versions. They had a, one in the 80s and then one in, like, 2015 or something. And I think they're going to be basing it more on, like, the 2015 one. Because that one had Doom as the villain. He creates, like, this, like, when the, all the realities are crashing. He, like, creates this, like, one reality called, like, Battle World. And he transports, like, all the different universes to that one reality. And Man. they're just, like, fucking fight for, like, to see which reality is going to fucking, like, survive Damn. pretty much. And, like... uh like it's, a, it's like gonna be like imagine like the portal scene from Endgame, but instead of just MCU people, we see like the Fox X Men, we see the different Spider Men, yeah. we see the fucking like Spider Verse people. Got DC to pull up. Yeah, right I did, DC, I did see something it, though up. that it said uh like Tobey Maguire is gonna be like a main character. I, I wouldn't up, be surprised. Yeah. Upcoming like Avengers. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you saw bro, No Way Home was super successful. It like, showed that everyone's down to see Tobey Maguire again. Yeah, fucking Deadpool. Wasn't the thing that it's like Spider Man's the one like assembling the team for doomsday or whatever like tom holland spider-man no just there's like a spider-man in oh like and it's toby mcguire's yeah oh or yeah just yeah. in the comics yeah yeah, yeah. That was just, yeah, yeah yeah i so think that's what i'm talking yeah, about yeah so yeah, they'll yeah. probably have one of the they'll toby probably McGuire. say like each universe like there may like or maybe for those three universes like the spider-man are the ones that have to unite like yeah. the, their universes or whatever because, like, they're probably like, oh, like, they don't want it. It's like, we know a Spider-Man from that universe. We don't want to destroy that universe, like, yeah. you know, so they're going to work together. And what do you think of the theory of uh, that they kind of introduced this topic in Deadpool and Wolverine that... The anchor beings? The anchor beings. So the reason they're bringing back Robert Downey Jr. is because since he... Died. Died. In Spoiler alert. I don't know if, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen fucking Avengers Everybody Endgame. Five that. years later, spoiler alert, Iron Man dies. I mean, it may be true. I haven't seen fucking Black Panther. That's true, yeah. We already spoiled it. We told um, them they're coming back as Doom. But yeah. Yes, um. So yeah. So they're saying that like the, what'd you say? The nature being? Uh, anchor being. Anchor being. Yeah. I don't nature follow. <laughs> I don't follow. I'll um, need no so, yeah. Toy Story so, Lord. Yeah. Only. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Only. only bro. You yeah, ask him anything about Marvel yeah. stories, but he can't fucking it's, answer shit. Yeah. God <laughs> forbid we mention stuff. fucking, we say the wrong, I say fucking mole hey. man instead of fucking. Yeah. The undermine. Yeah. Get that shit right, brother. Um, But yeah. So they're saying that like their universe or their reality is starting to destroy. Do you want to put it down? I was like, it's just on Pedro's face. Yeah, that's like, fine. Do, no, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Go, wait, yeah, just put it right there on Doomsday. Boom, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> we can just go over. <laughs> and uh, they were saying that the reality is starting to crash because Robert Downey Jr. is like not... Our, like the MCU's Iron Man yeah. was the anchor. And being. so they're like, okay, well, let's try and get another Iron Man, but they end up getting... The wrong one. The wrong one where he's a doom mm -hmm. in that uh, universe. Maybe they're going to tie it into the end of Spider-Man because remember when Doctor Strange does this little thing, all the universes started clashing and colliding at the end of it. Yeah. Y'all remember? At the well, end? I mean, that was also, it was I've also kind of like yeah. in um, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. They said that whenever it's like, whenever because him going to the different realities was causing incursions, which is incursions is when the realities start yeah. uh, crashing. And that's what I'm saying. In in Secret Wars, it's like a bunch of incursions because they're doing all this multiversal, different reality hopping bullshit, and it's fucking up all the realities, and it's causing a shit ton of incursions. And so all these realities are crashing into each other. So that's when Doom's like, all right, fuck this. I got to fucking, I'm just going to put everybody on this one reality and make them fight each other. Yeah, y'all both of y'all haven't seen what ifs. Nah, nah. nah. You remember the being? I'm not. I'm gonna try the to watcher, say this. Just the watcher. Just talk. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna be included yeah, in all the probably. upcoming movies. Yeah. So in in what if you have a guy? He like he watches. He sees. He's like he's like kind of like Doctor Strange in Infinity War, where he like does the thing and he goes through all the different realities. Like they have a character for that. His name but is the Watcher, and he's just always he's like a celestial being. Yeah, and he's like not supposed to intervene. He just kind of watches all the realities play out. Mm. 
And so he's like the narrator of what if, and he takes you through. Are the we getting uh, the Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four? Yeah, is it's a the, it's a girl. Is that the villain? Oh. No, 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 not uh, Galactus is the villain. Oh, Galactus. we're getting a female si- a Silver Surfer. Oh, that's so, fair. damn, damn, that's like R.I.P. the OG. naked naked woman. I guess is going to be a Silver Surfer. So that'll be cool. All right, but yeah, that's a. Uh, anything else you want to? touch on for I, i'm Day? excited about Do- uh, robert downey jr yeah, back i as think Doctor i Gun. think it's lit as well like yeah. i know people are like, oh, blah, 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 blah. but i think it's gonna it be does. cool for seeing the original cast they're gonna be like you're not they're the, gonna be like i not think the tony or, stark or, or I know. no like yes. whatever tom holland's like mr stark he's like no he just fucking blasts him yeah to he him and just he's like, like fucking kills him stark Doom. <laughs> like, you know, like, that's just gonna be some shit. Like, I don't, I just want, no! like yeah, that's just gonna be, be crazy, uh, bro. We're gonna have to see how they do it, right? Like, yeah. if they bring him back as Tony Stark, variant, yeah. different person, same face, that's what I'm saying. We just saw, is, but I feel like that's gonna control like a lot of people's reaction as to whether it's like conceived well. I guess, like, yeah, it's gonna take away from uh, Iron Man dying no matter what. Well, like, yeah. that's that's, a, that's the main argument. I, I, but that's why I don't think it's gonna be. I, that's one of the theories. I don't think it's gonna be an Iron Man variant. I think it's the same way we'd spoil alert for Deadpool and Wolverine, but we literally see Chris Evans as fucking Flame Johnny on. Storm, yeah. mm-hmm. and we just saw him. Uh, we, we've seen him for years be Captain America. So that clearly shows that like the same actor can play two different characters completely unrelated. Yeah. yeah. So I I think that he's playing. I just think that there's some reality where Victor Von Doom just happens to be Rob, like look like fucking Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. The same way that there's a reality where Johnny Storm just happens to look like fucking Chris Evans. Yeah. Like yeah. that's what I think, and I think that because I've seen like another thing because there's like there's a couple different like uh, comic issues where it's like oh Iron Man as like Doctor Doom or whatever, and one of them is the uh, or I don't know if that's one where they grabbed the wrong one, but like uh, there's one where it's like. It is Iron Man, but he goes down like a different path, and it's like instead of like the path he went down, he went down a darker path, and he becomes Doom. Mm. But there's another one where it's like pretty much, uh, it's like Rob, it's like Doom. Victor Von Doom goes to college, and it's like in in normally with the lore, it's like he goes to college with Reed Richards, and that's how they meet each other. Yeah. But there's like an alternate reality where instead of going to college with Reed Richards, he goes to college with uh, Tony Stark. And pretty much something happens is like they create this machine, I think, or something or something happens and they get into like some type of like argument or something. They get into a fight and like they like pretty much like they fight. Tony Stark like hits him and gives him that scar that Doom has yeah, yeah. and t- Doom in retaliation like does something. And he kills Tony Stark. And like I think that it's like I could see them going down that route, and then it's like he takes over Tony Stark's like body, kind of mm. like he takes like his consciousness or something and puts it in Tony Stark's body so that he can have like all of his resources because uh. it's like he's still Tony Stark, he's still a billionaire playboy philanthropist. But inside, but so it's like it'll be the face of to- of Robert Downey Jr. But I think it's like who's I don't I think we'll find out that it's another actor. Maybe like Cillian Murphy or uh, like some whoever, because I know that's like a big fan cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whoever else. There's been a bunch of people that are fan casting. I think it'll be that person is actually Doom, but then something will happen, and then that's how we get Tony Star or like Robert Downey Jr. as Doom. I'll give that a cheers. Yeah, yeah I'll that give that a good. I think that'd be cool. That yeah, that would I like be. that. We'll, we'll I think revisit this when we come it. back. Yeah, yeah, we'll reference yeah, this I, in a year. But yeah, yeah I'm just good. super excited. Like, two I just years. think that, yeah, two, two years. years. Yeah. Jesus. I just think that, like, it's going to be, and I also think it's going to be super cool, which, because I that definitely means that, like, Robert Downey Jr. is going to have to play some part or some type of role in Fantastic Four, because obviously yeah. Doom and Fantastic yeah. Four are tied in, which I'm like, all right, great. So, I guess Robert Downey Jr., he had Pepper Potts for a little bit. Now he gets fucking Invisible Woman. You know, he gets to, like, riz her up, I Come guess, on. a little bit. Like, because I know Doom and Invisible Woman kind of have, like, a thing at some point, mm-hmm. so. When's Invincible joining the MCU? Never. <laughs> but yeah, that was a uh, we were yapping. That, that was, was like an hour of us yapping. That was a breakdown yeah, of everything that's been revealed from uh, D twenty three Disney. Yeah, D- yeah, Disney uh, Comic Con D twenty three. It's like some crazy. Uh, there's a lot. I'm excited. I really think that I think like from post COVID. I think that like Disney kind of needed to like re yeah I agree re re kind of like, realign realign get back on track like we were kind of going all over the place not just yeah. with Marvel with Star Wars like with every aspect after taking some time I have decided to <laughs> realign with my morals yeah and we're going back to ground zero yeah and well, square one it, it is just kind of like it, it, RDJ. yeah it is kind of like if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah. and I feel like you could see that not just with them bringing back Robert Downey Jr. but it's like we're getting Incredibles three Frozen three uh, Toy Story five like it's like they're mm-hmm. focusing instead of sure. trying to do a lot of the original stuff which some of it worked some of it didn't work but it's like they're like we're just gonna f- go all in on like the stuff that we know makes us a shit ton yeah. of money yeah 
They're they're tugging at people's like uh, wallets. Like, yeah. Well, that Heart too. Strings. But yeah, exactly. It's like, like nostalgia. 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 Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. It's like all the things that used to work, like Chris Evans, like RDJ. They're pulling out all these things that used <laughs> they, to work. They no. I saw a thing whenever they announced it. They were like, they were like, I know, I know, Chris Evans is on the phone with his manager, getting cast as, as Magneto right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro, if they do that, okay, if they do that, that's a little. Because I'm like, we already got Chris Evans as two different characters. Yeah. Right? You yeah. make him a third one, we're doing a little too much. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. that's uh, right. that's that. That's we the, yapped. I, I'm excited. We yapped and what? we recapped. Come on. Hey. hey. Cheers to that. Great way to wrap it right there. Come on. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday. And as always, listen, buddy.